what are the common mistakes that first-time consultants make? I have been a consultant for over 12 years now, and I would say that the beginning was not very easy. And that was the inspiration behind coming up with this channel so that I can be able to educate and even guide aspiring consultants. You know, if you're looking to get into consultancy, what are the pitfalls? What do you need to be on the lookout for? So in today's video, I'll share with you five mistakes that first-time consultants make. I know you want to succeed fast. I know you are innate, you know, to, to, to make sure that you make a career out of this consultancy business. But then again, you do have to uh, pay attention to some things because if you don't pay attention, the likelihood of you really not getting to your goal or destination is really uh, very high. So which are these common mistakes that I would advise you to be careful of? Number one is not embracing sales and marketing. Now at the beginning, you being a consultant, you have to understand that for you to get client, 50 to 60% of your time should be devoted to sales and marketing. Unfortunately for most of us, uh, we are not trained marketers, we are not trained sales people. But then again, how are you going to get clients? So for example, for myself, yes, here I was, I got into HR consultancy, and yet I had never done marketing or sales. But then what I did was to go online, um, attend courses on sales and marketing, you know, uh, digital marketing especially, and from there I got to understand how to do this. So over time, obviously, the farm has grown and uh, I really now do marketing myself directly. I have a team that does that. But at the beginning, it was me doing that. So don't shy away from sales and marketing. Don't look at it and say, well, I'm an engineer, I'm a lawyer. This is beneath me. No. For your consultancy to succeed, you do have to embrace sales and marketing. Uh, the second mistake uh, first-time consultants make is charging too much or too little for their consultancy. And I would say this is not a mistake that they do willingly. Why? Because you do have to test the market. And then over time you get to learn, oh, so this is what the, the market is willing to pay for. So my advice to you, if you really look into establish yourself and establish yourself fast, is talk to mentors, coaches, talk to people like us who've been there before. So that you can be able to advise you when it comes to costing, to pricing, this is the price uh, range that you work with. So it's really important because if you charge too little, clients will look at you and think uh, you're not competent. Also, if you charge too much, what will happen is that uh, you, you are competing against more established firms. And uh, also sometimes the client may really not have that confidence in you because you don't have many years of experience. So it does help to know where to charge and don't do it in the, in the dark. Talk to other experts, talk to mentors, talk to people like us who've been in the industry and we'll be able to guide you. The number three mistake is not putting business systems in place at the earliest. So apart from the minimum, uh, making sure that your business is registered, having a bank account, the most important one is being compliant with the taxes. So the earlier you start to pay taxes, the area you start to deduct if it's employees you have, you're deducting their PE and you're remitting NSSF, PE, and HIF. Just put your books in order. I've seen instances where someone starts this consultancy or business, it becomes successful, and uh, six or seven years later, the things they did when they were very new in business, they start catching up with them. So if you want to have you know, time to focus on the business and not on the other things, then it does help to uh make sure that you have business uh systems in place if you have members of staff give them employment contracts you know pay taxes if you if you have a bill if you get an office get a lease so make sure that everything is in order because that way you you not be worrying who who has who is in your reception you know i know of instances where bosses they tell their receptionists if anyone asks for me, say I'm not in. Why? Because they don't know. It could be the suppliers, it could be the revenue authority, you know, and because they've not put their house in order. So it does help to put your house in order from day one. And the more you, you, you learn your business without putting system in place, it will become very expensive for you to be compliant later on. Point number four is not seeking help. You know, going, going it uh, alone. And I know you're good at what you do, 
you could be this accountant, you've done 20 years of experience in accounting. But the reality is, if you've never done this before, if you've never been in consultancy, it's something entirely different. So don't go it alone. Look for people like us. Be trained, seek mentors, seek coaches. Because they will tell you, this is the path I took and this is how I became successful and this is the mistake that uh, I avoided. And that's why I came up with um, the consulting success uh, program to be able to mentor and coach you. Because when I look back 12 years ago when I was starting out, things were very different from the way they are now. And there are so many mistakes I made, especially the first four years, that really prevented me from growing and even getting to uh, that high level. It took me a little bit longer even to stabilize. And I'm sure now looking back, if I had consulted, if I had sought advice from the very beginning, things would be very different. And currently, even as I shoot this video, whenever I have a problem, if it's a sales and marketing problem, there are people that I reach out to. I do have a tax and uh, accounting specialist who also advises me on tax matters, you know. Uh, if it's the issues of readership, there are people that I talk to, people who have been in business longer than I, because no man is an island and we don't have all the information. You can always benefit from getting advice from others. And that's what I would recommend for you. And lastly, is taking rejection personally. That's the fifth mistake that I see first-time consultants make. Now, the nature of business is that out of every 10 presentations you make, only four or five or six, and six if you're very good at what you do. You know, majority of the people who seek your services, majority of the people you talk to, it's not necessarily that they will turn out to be clients. So you get, you've got to understand that that's the nature of the business. That's how things run in this world. So that means if someone says no to you, don't take it personally. They're not saying no to you as Paminas. They're not saying no to you as Jane or Joseph. Maybe they didn't like your pricing. Maybe you didn't convince them enough. Maybe you did not demonstrate your expertise. So don't take rejection personally. It shouldn't prevent you, you know, from approaching more clients. And there's, uh, there's an article I was reading where this person was commenting that if a lion gets depressed every time he's not able to catch uh, a zebra or gazelle and you know it goes under a tree and says it will never hunt again I mean it's going to die it, it and the family is going to die so it's the same case with us here you be out there you put your best foot forward but it's not a guarantee that clients will come your way always that should not prevent you from uh, always putting your best foot forward and marketing and trying to offer value to clients so that you can get business. And if business doesn't come your way, don't give up. In summary, those are the five mistakes that I see first time uh, consultants make. So be on the lookout and I'm sure you'll be able to succeed in your consultancy practice. Thank you for watching and if this is your first time, hit the subscribe button so that you can be able to uh, receive updates whenever I post new videos and if you're new into consultancy and you have a question there's an area you'd want me to support you on why don't you leave a comment and no, who knows my next video might be based on your um, comment so thank you very much for watching and see you next time